In 2013, Henrietta Lacks' family made history, reaching an agreement with the NIH that gave them more of a say in how their family's data was being used. It marked a shift in trust and transparency in science, something we're having to fight for more than ever today. For the season opener of my podcast, The Dose, I sat down with Dr. Francis Collins, former NIH director who led the Human Genome Project, to talk about that moment, politics and science, and why truth still matters. Here's a clip from the podcast where we talk about the Henrietta Lacks Agreement. Cells that ultimately got called HeLa for Henrietta Lacks, they're growing in my laboratory, um, my former laboratory right now. And that's true of many laboratories around the world. These have been the kind of cells where we've made all kinds of amazing discoveries. They've been involved in multiple Nobel Prize work because they are the way in which we really understand a lot about how a human cell does what it does. But of course, this was done in a fashion that did not stand up to appropriate ethical norms, even though at the time it was. It became clear that along the way, the source of these cells was made public by an investigator at Hopkins. Um, so the Lacks family, descendants of Henrietta, kids and grandkids, and became identifiable. A group in Germany sequenced that genome from HeLa cells and was purporting to publish a paper in it. When it became clear that the family had no input to this, and might potentially be at risk of having things about them revealed as blood relatives of Henrietta. So I got engaged at that point, feeling like, whoa, wait a minute, this isn't right. We did manage to slow down any public release of that information, and there was another group that was also about to publish. And I reached out with help from people who knew them to the Lax family and had the most amazing series of meetings in a conference room at Hopkins with multiple members of the family. It was fascinating. They were both really troubled that this had happened and that their relative, Henrietta, had never really been recognized for her contribution, but also that now that it was known it was her, that they were at risk and hadn't had the chance to have any input into this. But they wanted the work to continue. We set up a review group who would look at the applications. Two members of the Lax family were on that review group. And over the course of many years, I think by now probably approved 60 or 70 applications. If you want to hear more, make sure to check out The Dose with the Commonwealth Fund everywhere you get your podcasts or check out thedose.show.